Hello, my dear students, once again, I'd like to welcome you in English 102 for the Unified Track. And today we're going to have Unit 12, which is write a formal email. By the end of this lesson, we're going to achieve three main objectives. The first one is to identify formal language used in a formal email. And we will identify the layout of writing a formal email. And of course, we will write a formal email. So, formal emails are written for, pay attention, official purposes, like what? Applying for a job, maybe? Complaint about something? Applying for a course? These are the purposes that you need to write a formal email for. You can't write on WhatsApp, for example. You can't be informal. You have to be official. Now, I'll give you examples of formal expressions used in a formal email. Pay attention. We start the letter with saying, Dear Sir or Madam, here in case of you don't know the receiver's name. But if you know their name, you have to specify it. Dear Mr. or Mrs. or Miss, it depends. With regards to, here if you want to refer to a certain topic. Or you could say, regards to. I wish to, here if you want to express your demand, if you need something or you're wishing for something. I would like to know, if you want to know something, if there is a certain thing that you're looking for. And don't forget, it has to be this way. I would like to know. You can't say, I'd like to know. Why? Because it's formal, remember. I wonder if you could. Again, if you're demanding something, this is a very polite and official way to ask for it. Now, here's the ending. Yours faithfully. And yours sincerely. And of course, when do you use yours faithfully, when you say only dear sir or madam without sp specifying the name. But if you mention the name at the beginning, you have to end it with yours sincerely. Now, let's move to the layout of writing a formal email. Of course, the first paragraph, you have to tell me the reason of writing the email or the letter. Example, maybe you want to apply for a job. So I'm writing this letter to uh, apply for the job advertised in online website, for example. Moving to the second paragraph, you have to state the main topic based on your letter purpose. Now, the example here is applying for a job. So if you're writing a formal letter to apply for a job, you have to include information about yourself at the body, like your name, your age, school, qualifications, certificates, any questions you have. But let's assume that this letter was written for the purpose of a complaint letter. Are you going to mention all of these details? No. You will just start with the main thing, which is the complaint purpose. Finally, in paragraph three, of course, comes the thanking and the closing remarks, and it has to be formal. So what are we going to write today? What is the chosen topic for the formal email? Write a formal letter applying for Bahrain Youth Program. This is just an assuming program which was advertised somewhere, and you will write a formal letter to apply for it. Let's see together. Pay attention, my dear students, and don't forget to write down notes if needed. So, we start with the introduction. Dear Mr. Mohammed, I am writing to apply for Bahrain Youth Program advertised in the local newspaper. I am sending you my personal details and I would like to know some details. Pay attention. Look, I'm saying I am writing instead of I'm writing because it's formal letter and here I would like to know instead of saying I'd like to know let's move to the second paragraph here is where you need to put information about yourself because you're applying for a program so 
My name is Noor. I am 16 years old. I am a Bahraini secondary school student and a student council member. Since you are a student, you have to tell me, are you a member in something? Because of course you haven't worked before, which means you don't have experience. Let's go on. I speak fluent Arabic and English. My hobbies are reading and fishing. Now, state your qualities. I am sociable, punctual, and a hardworking person. Also, I consider myself to be a friendly and organized. Regarding my interests and questions, Pay attention here, you're going to ask some questions because you're applying for a certain purpose, so you definitely have questions. I would like to join the program, but I want to get more details. How long does it last? Question mark. How much does it cost? Again, question mark. Do you offer transportation and where is your location? So here I have four questions. I have to put them all at the paragraph. Here, when we come to the end or the conclusion, you have to put the closing remarks and um, finalize the letter by saying, kindly find attached to my CV as well as my photograph. Tell them about the things that you have attached. And I look forward to hearing from you soon is the best way to end a formal email. Yours sincerely, Noor. Why did I end it with sincerely? Because at the beginning I said, Dear, uh, let me go back and remember the name, Mr. Mohammed. So, this is the end of a formal email, as simple as that. And I will ask you to write a formal email for any purpose of your choice. Refer to your book, English 102, page 101 for the proper structure or if you need more details. Don't forget, use formal language and include questions. We come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you understood the lesson and you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and see you soon. Goodbye.